G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I'm going to develop another film tonight. This time I'm not going to be developing it in coffee, vitamin C powder and washing soda. I'm going to now develop it in beer, coffee, um, vitamin C and washing soda. Yes, um, there's a few different combinations of um, household ingredients you can make a photo film developer out of. I know that um, over in Germany, some some, some filmmaker has um, has used a variety of different ingredients, and one of them was um, beer um, as a substitute of to coffee. And he actually successfully developed Super 8 film in beer, washing soda, and vitamin C powder. So I figure I might give it a go myself, seeing it's the Australian way to to uh, do things. <laughs> Involving a bit of beer. Anyway, the beer of choice is Victoria Bitter. The best cold beer is Vic. Victoria Bitter. VB. Yep. VB is my favourite beer, so I'm going to develop a film in my favourite beer. Anyway, so here are my ingredients. I've got my um, VB here, which I've warmed up. I was intending on warming it to about 30 degrees, but I've over warmed it a bit but I'll let it cool off a little before using it. I've got my vitamin C powder here and I've got my washing soda. Vitamin C powder is about 15 mils worth, washing soda is, is nearly 100 mils worth and the beer is about roughly 600 mils worth. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm going to mix these ingredients and um, I'll do a little video showing them all mixed together before I start developing and yeah so just give me a moment I'll mix the ingredients okay I've just mixed all the ingredients together the beer the washing soda and the vitamin C powder now unfortunately um, some of the washing soda seems to have crystallized and it's just not um, breaking down into and getting soluble into the beer bit of a problem plus also it seems like the beer is still a bit warm oh, I'm a bit concerned about that but I oh, don't know what can I do anyway I'm just going to mix it around a bit before I start pouring it in Now, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I mean, it could work very nicely, it could partially work, or it could not work at all. Now, another problem too is um, when I was using the disposable camera, it was the plastic was kind of partially open. Well, that's what you get for buying an old cheapo bloody disposable camera. But yeah, that could be an issue too. I could. That could have exposed the film. Anyway, I can only just try it and hope for the best. I hope that crystallise. Ah, oh, heck, I'm going to shake the hell out of it. And if anything is, it's just going to fizz up. Yeah, I just want to get this bloody vitamin, get this bloody, um, I guess, washing soda soluble. But yeah. The problem with having it fizzed up like that is it probably creates air bubbles in the in the tank and you get a rather potted looking picture. But no, well, see how it goes. Might as well just open this up and let it sit for a bit and then pour it in. Well, I'll let that sit a little bit. I'll show you my disposable camera. It's another. In, um, digital imagery type camera, I think that's what it's called, uh, you know, click imagery. That's the camera, which I pulled apart. As mentioned, um, the back was where the film was, was kind of open, so that that was a bit of a problem. Anyway, getting back to the developer. So let sit for a bit, it's a bit fog bit fizzed up still bloody 
crystallized pieces of washing soda, or I hope it's washing soda, not vitamin C powder. Anyway, I guess it's about as good as it's going to get, so I'm um, going to pour it in. I don't care if the pictures get a bit potted, as long as I get pictures to prove that this actually does work. Anyway, time to get started on developing. I've got me, I'm going to turn off this light now. I've still got the flash light from the camera. So basically here's my developing tank. Time to pull this in and see how I go. Wish me luck. I'll do a video afterwards showing you the results. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel, signing off.